I've shared this technique before, but I want to make it more practical. I was working with the client the other day and I said this to them and they asked me, why do I do this? What am I talking about? So it's about calling your energy back every single day. Now, a lot of people in the holistic or healing world, new age, say you need to protect yourself. And I found that by doing this, calling back my energy throughout the day, at least once a day, I usually do this when I go to sleep, it helps, okay? Because when we call back our energy, we're actually coming back to ourselves. This is an energetic way of grounding yourself, okay? So you can do this as well through walking on the grass, things like that, but that's a more physical aspect. And if you're really interested in having a technique that you can use for your energy management, so empaths listen up because this is really important, this is what you do. So you call back your energy and I've done a previous video where I actually talk you through this and I will share it again in the comments for you. But to address why. So everything is energy. We know this. We've heard it. How do you apply this? And I, again, I see this even coaches, healers, they forget this. So for me, it was about really making, I want to be practical in my energy management because it's like with breath work, you know, in the moment, if I'm having an anxiety attack, then I want to know how to manage that. And this will also help with anxiety because anxiety can occur when we've let too much of our energy go out in worrying, in doubting, and things like that and we don't call it back so as an empath or a highly sensitive person or someone who's really just wanting to manage your energy this is why so every person you speak to throughout the day when you're on internet especially surfing scrolling your energy goes out to search for things okay so think of your energy also as like a search engine and when you make an intention you actually send your energy out to go and start to attract or attach to the specific desires that you want to create and we don't we've if i forget to call this back then i start to feel depleted Okay, and then over time, this can also lead to mental health issues. So remember to call your energy back. And it can be as simple as before going to sleep every night, you just say to yourself, I call back my energy from everywhere and anywhere in all space, time and dimensions to this now moment. And that's it. And... See how that goes. It's very, very simple and it's very powerful. And when you call in your energy back, you close any little space where other energies could perhaps try to attach themselves to you and things like this. So you're actually protecting yourself, if that's the word you want to use, through this dynamic energy management so remember call back your energy daily and if you're feeling really stressed or depressed or whatever call it back from all your projects from all the thoughts you've had even the thoughts about these thoughts call your energy back and allow it to come back into your body and if you need to declare, your energy knows exactly where you are, okay? <laughs> it's your energy and you send it out. So it will find its way back to you. But a lot of times also when we can feel depleted, it's because we've had, you know, a lot of thoughts and we've actually left them out there. So it's kind of like 
you send off these requests and they go out there and then they wait. They hover waiting for you to give them direction. And it's not that the thoughts disappear if you call back your energy. Your energy will know where to find them. So these are this is a really exciting way, very practical. And I found when I started to do this, firstly, I never kind of felt depleted. Or I definitely had really heightened intuition and discernment about what was going on. So... Have a great day.